Hey now, welcome back to Ride With Purpose. Appreciate you guys tuning in once again, and happy 4th of July. It is a, a pretty muggy one up here in Traverse City today. It's not terrible, but it's almost on the verge of being nearly uncomfortable. Um, we also have the National Cherry Festival going on right here, which you've seen in the other the previous videos that we did. Um, that is going strong. We got a lot of activities going on today. We might swing down there later on and check it out. But for right now, we just kind of wanted to relax this morning. Um, we got some, some family things going on. And uh, in the meantime, the wife and I decided to escape for a couple hours and went out and did a little bit of shopping. And uh, I was on the lookout for a... I wanted to get a smaller power washer for the garage, mainly just to wash my bike with. And uh, didn't want nothing gas. I didn't want to hear the noise and loud and all that jazz. So I was looking for an electric one um, that Ace Hardware sells, but they didn't have the one that I wanted in stock today. So we ended up going to Lowe's and I did something I said I would never do again. And I bought a Craftsman. Now, why won't I, why was I so against Craftsman? One, as we all know, the quality of Craftsman has gone down significantly over the last decade. And now that they, uh, under a new ownership or whatever's going on there it is, in my opinion, bottom of the barrel stuff that you can get. Um, this thing right here was $99. I did buy another Craftsman power washer a few years ago and we paid, you know, a few hundred dollars for it. It's one of the bigger ones. I went through the whole rigmarole, getting everything set up on it. And um, it literally started puking oil everywhere so um within like you know two weeks of, of using it so i just left that alone i have a really really nice uh husqvarna one that i use all the time um it's really big it'll it's made it's more of a commercial brand one but it's just so damn loud and while i'm out here right you know washing the bikes and doing the stuff here in the garage i don't want to i don't really don't want to listen to that and i don't need nothing that powerful to wash off the bug guts and the dirt on the bike so we're at lowe's we saw this guy I figured for $99, what could go wrong? So let's crack it open and take a look. All right, we, we took the tape off. This is my first time actually opening it up. And uh, there ourselves a gun here. Pretty, pretty nifty. Kind of light and plasticky. That'll work. A little bit of hose. I don't know how many feet come in that. 20. 20 feet of hose. We got a little tank here. That might come in handy. We okay, got this guy. What else is in there? Oh, uh, the wand. Doing this one hand is a challenge, but I'm up for a challenge today. Hang on. And we're back. Yeah, so it's uh, actually a decent size. It'll fit in right in one of these, uh, these cabinet doors down here. Pretty light. You get plenty of... Uh, of cordage and of course you have your GFCI on here for, for safety reasons which is cool let's uh let's put it together and see how it does so putting this together and again I'm not really complaining because it was only $99 but um all the ends here are, are plastic I mean it's you know tougher plastic but for anything more than what I'm going to use this for. And again, it's, it is, it does say it's light for light use. Um, I don't think it'd be all that great to be honest with you. So yeah, the, the handle just feels really kind of cheap, but again, it's only $99. So what do you expect? You cheap bastard. Let's go uh, wash some stuff. All right, well, we got her uh, put together. Um, she's charged. 
That's without anything on the end. So we'll uh, we'll put the uh, soap in and uh, get her going. Yeah. All right, baby, we're loaded up. We got ourselves some chemical guys, just uh, shampoo and conditioner. And as you can see, my bike is. She's pretty gross, so let's uh, let's see what happens. Hang on, almost forgot. That damn open air cleaner is gonna get me one day. It's gonna get me. Be right back. All right, we did it. Plastic bagged up. So let's go. All right. Couple things right off the bat. I like how quiet it is. It's, uh, you know, it's very quiet. I like how compact it is and easy to store. Um, the gun durability is to remain. Um, this isn't anything on anybody, uh, Craftsman or any other brand, but 20 feet of uh, hose isn't really enough. Um, so I have other ones in the, in the shed back there that we'll test out. I just don't know if the diameter will be okay or not if that makes any sense but uh you know if it if it is i'll i'll go pick up another same diameter hose that's you know maybe 30 feet because i do like to maybe keep that you know somewhat protected but uh so far so good so i'm gonna finish washing up the bike i'll get to the rinse stage and see how actually powerful the you know the blaster <laughs> the blaster is so we'll be right back all right, so we got the uh, bike all soaked up and rubbed down. Now I put on, they have a white tip. The black one's supposed to be a little bit more pressure, so I'm gonna use that and uh, see how it goes. Not too bad. I'm uh, kind of impressed with this little guy so far. just figured it out this tip is like a tornado tip so it it's like a cyclone and it it spins the water helping lift some of the dirt off that's uh that's kind of neat Okay, I'm calling this little guy a win. For $99, you, you can't beat it. It's, uh, again, this is just the first day with it. We'll see how long it actually lasts. But um, plenty of power. Bike looks good. Um, got all the bug guts off. I even did the front of the, the kid's windshield here. Got the bugs off. Then I'm over here playing, so I have this brick ledge here in my house. And we live close to the lake, and there's, you know, some algae and stuff on there. I haven't really washed the house <laughs> this year yet. So I was cleaning off the algae here, and you can kind of see, and this stuff isn't easy to get off, you know? So. So it's taking everything off relatively easy with the exception for this spot here and that spot is where it comes down here on the off the roof and it drips 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 so a uh, little elbow grease on that that should come off pretty good too but I'm pretty impressed for $99 plenty of power um, I mean it did a great job on the bike this thing was covered in bug guts and and all that and 
I had all sorts of dirt down here. My pipes were destroyed. Again, for a hundred bucks, I'm gonna call it a win. So we'll see. The true test of this is going to see how long it actually lasts. So uh, maybe we'll do another quick review on this at the end of summer. Because as we know, I do like to wash my bikes. I like to keep them clean. And uh, maybe we'll do it on the summer review and then a one-year review next 4th of July. So that's what it is. Don't know if I'm going to end this video here or not. But if I do, it's good seeing you guys. I hope you have a great 4th of July. Stay safe. If you have 10 fingers today, let's make sure we have 10 fingers tomorrow. And uh, happy birthday, America, man. Let's, uh, let's get her back on track. We'll see you guys soon. Later.